Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. Today, I am joined first by the reigning queen of Miss Firecracker 2012. Deja definitely lives up to her title. Now, last year for the pageant, Deja was joined by a number of other drag queens who want nothing more than to see a cure for everyone living with HIV and AIDS. This pageant has raised $95,000 to date. Last year it raised $6,500 for AIDS help and they hope to increase that number even more. Deja, thank you so much for being here with me today. You're welcome. <laughs> you are absolutely fabulous, thank Deja. You. <laughs> I love the gown, love the jewelry. You've got it going on. I try. So. <laughs> are you sad to see your title go? Um, I'm not sad. I'm more than happy to give it up. Um, it was a it was a fun year, a lot mm -hmm. of stuff to do, mm -hmm. but it's nice to be able to relax and just be a part of events rather than having to entertain at all of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure you were a wonderful Miss Firecracker Deja. And how long have you been doing drag for? I've been doing drag for about 14 years. And why did you decide to get into it, Deja? Into drag? Yeah. Um, Probably like most drag queens start off as a group of people getting dressed up for mm -hmm. Halloween to go out one time. Mm -hmm. And at the bar that we went to, somebody said, oh, you actually look like you might, could be pretty good at this. Let's mm -hmm. give you some pointers and see if we can stick you on stage. And mm -hmm. it's been going ever since then. It just took off yeah. there. Well, you do make a beautiful woman. Thank you. So <laughs> you've got it going on, definitely. Deja, tell our viewers who aren't familiar with the Miss Firecracker pageant, what it's all about. Well, um, it's it's a charitable pageant, unlike some others. You know, you get pageants that, that are about the money and, and the winning and carrying the title. This is a charity-based pageant. Um, a, a lot of the proceeds go to the AIDS Help organization. And then, of course, with the title throughout the year, you can um, decide to help out other groups, other charities, and lend your, you know, your, your status as Miss Firecracker to helping just bring more awareness to what other people need. Mm -hmm. And it definitely raises so much money. I mentioned that it's raised $95,000 to date, 6500 for AIDS help. So you guys are really doing, a, doing something great for a great cause. Yeah, well, I'm, that's, that's what it's all about. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, and the more, the more awareness that is about the title and stuff, the more that people can use it to uh, bring in those extra funds that mm -hmm. are so desperately needed. Right. Now, how long does it take you to get ready and get all done up like you are, Deja? I'm, I like mm -hmm. to allow myself an hour mm -hmm. to get ready. Okay. So usually, like where I work at, if I have to be ready by 8 o'clock, I show up at 7 and magically it happens. <laughs> magically you transform into this beautiful woman. Deja, do you do your own makeup, hair, all of that? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you pick your own gowns, costumes? Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite, like a favorite gown that you've worn in the past, or? Um, well, you know, I have lots of favorites, mm -hmm. I, I guess. But um, I, I try to, you know, have my clothing seasonally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's always like a rotation that stuff gets put away and then people forget about, and then you bring it back out, and they say, "Oh, that's fabulous! It looks brand new." <laughs> so that's kind of how I go through my wardrobe. Least favorite part about having to be a woman? Well, you know, I don't necessarily have a least favorite part. I, I really enjoy um, being in drag. I guess, I mean, the tediousness of getting ready, mm -hmm. you know, it's very methodical. It's, you know, like paint by number almost. And so that mm -hmm. kind of can get boring. But mm -hmm. once it's all together, then it's fantastic. Then you love it. Yeah. Do you almost just wish that you could just wear it all the time? No. Or no. <laughs> Too hot. <laughs> <laughs> Too hot. And Too again, hot. it's that work, that preparation yeah. that goes into it. Deja, how many people are going to be competing this year for Miss Firecracker? Um, I'm not sure as of yet. We're hoping for at least three or four contestants. That okay. usually makes it for, um, for a good pageant and, and not one that runs for too long. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, you get eight or nine contestants and it just drags out and out and out, but three or four is a really good number to have. Okay, and of course everybody will just be performing, entertaining the crowd. Anybody can come to this pageant, Absolutely. Right? Okay, and tickets, just call AIDS Help. The number is on the bottom of the screen. You'll be able to reserve your seat. Also get a table if you'd like. Deja, do you have a, a favorite contestant for this year or, or no? 
Um, I'm, well, I'm not 100% sure on who's actually entering, so mm -hmm. I don't want to say that yet because okay. I don't want to jinx it or, or <laughs> say it and they don't enter at all. Right. So. <laughs> all right, so it will be a surprise to yeah. you, too. Wonderful. Deja, thank you so much for being on, and I'll, I'll have to see you perform. Do you perform around Key West I a lot? do, I do. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually the cabaret manager at the 801 nightclub, mm -hmm. and you can find me there uh, Thursday nights at 11, Fridays and Saturdays at 9 and 11. Okay. And we have shows every night of the week at 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock. Well, Locals I'm, are always free. Oh, that's a nice deal. Yeah. I'm definitely going to check out I one of your shows. I hope so. I'm sure you're a fabulous entertainer. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages. There is much more to come this morning, so please stay with me.